Hello everybody, Johnny here. Let's make a game together. For this game you will need some paper, something to write with, some playing pieces, and especially dice today. And what else? Oh, maybe you'll need a bear. Today's game is the pyramid game. So let's get started. So the first thing to do is take your paper and turn it so you can draw on it the right way. And we're going to start with a line. And this line is going to go across a good part of the paper, but not all of it, so be careful. So we're going to start by drawing a line about that long. And then we're going to put marks on either end and a mark in the middle. And then breaking up this line, we want to have two more marks making about equal spaces along the way. So far, so good. We want to turn this end into a squarish block. It does not have to be perfect. Let's keep making squares, or close to squares. And on top of this row of squares, let's make another row. About the same size, keep drawing the blocks for your pyramid. Looks like we had six on the bottom row, five on that row. Let's continue. Four on that row. Three on that row. Two on that row, and you guessed it. One more on top. That's a good pyramid. Now over here, let's make some other pyramids too. This is going to be a little tricky. Let's do a good job of it. So I'm going to make a line like this. And I'm going to make a triangle, but it's a little bit strange. I'm not going to go up to the middle of the line. I'm going to go a little bit over here and draw a line like this. And then a triangle. You see how it's not a perfect triangle? But then I'm going to draw a line right here and join that. Now I have my pyramid. Let's draw another pyramid behind it. Let's go about halfway here, a little bit longer. Another line, maybe not up to the middle again, coming across. Now we want to make a parallel line here, make a parallel line and join it. We have two pyramids. How about a little one down here? A little line here, a line, and another line. And see how it's not a perfect triangle? Then another line that's parallel to these. And there we have our baby pyramid. What else can we add? Oh, let's add some dunes. So remember, this is in the desert. So let's go make some dunes. Maybe some big dunes. All right, so far so good. Oh, it'd be good to have the sun because it's pretty hot out in the desert. Let's do two more things. One is the title of the game, which is Pier A Mid, and then just a little symbol down here. This is a hieroglyph for Horus. You make a curvy line like this, you make another one parallel to it, make a little joiner, then make the eye shape here, make a half circle, fill it in, and then make a curly line coming out there and a shoot coming down like this. And this is the hieroglyph for Horus. Looks like a great game board, but there's one thing missing. What is it? Oh, the numbers. Let's put the numbers into our pyramid. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. On the next tier, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 18. The next row, 20, 24, 25, 28, and then 30, 35, 
36, 42, 48, and to top it all off, 54. And that's our game board. Now let's play. What we need now is we'll need a couple players. And our players for today are Edgar and Margarita. In this game, Edgar will be copper and Margarita will be silver. Edgar will go first. Edgar rolls the dice and using these numbers is trying to find a way to make three, four, five, six, seven, or eight using addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So Edgar looks here and says, I can make 11, subtract 2 to make 9. That doesn't work so well. Edgar says, well, I could do 2 times 6, which is 12, and then subtract 5, and that will give me 7. And Edgar's in a good place. It's Margarita's turn. Margarita rolls a 5, a 3, and a 1. And Margarita's looking at all the numbers. 5 plus 3 is 8, minus 1 is 7, but Edgar's already there. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 5 more makes 9. That's not a good possibility either. Could be 1 times 5 is 5, and 5 minus 3 gives us 2. That's not so good. Margarita can make a choice now. She could choose to keep the dice as they are and lose her turn, or she could roll one of them, or two of them, or all three of them together again. Now she's liking the one and the three. The five seems like a big number making a problem right now, so let's roll this one again. A one. Now every turn, each player has the chance to do that just once. An initial roll, roll one time, and then choose whether to roll one, two, or three of the dice again. So Margarita looks at this, and one and one is two, and three more makes five, so Margarita's on the board. It's now Edgar's turn. Edgar rolls the dice. A three, a three, and a two. And Edgar's trying to make a 12, a 13, 14, 15, or 18. Edgar's really lucky here. Two plus three is five, and five times three makes 15, so Edgar goes up to the next level of the pyramid. It's now Margarita's turn. Margarita rolls a 3, a 1, and a 2, and she's trying to make a 12, a 13, 14, or 18. And she sees that if she does 3 times 2, 6 times 1, doesn't quite help her. If she does 1 plus 2 times 3, that's 9. These numbers aren't quite big enough, so she's going to decide to roll two dice again. Now she's got some large numbers here, and some good numbers. She sees immediately that she could do 3 plus 3 plus 6. 6 and 6 make 12, so she climbs to the next level of the pyramid. Now you will notice as we climb the pyramid, it's going to get more and more difficult. If at any time the player cannot make one of the numbers in the next row, they have to turn the dice over to the other player, and it will be the other player's turn. So right now it's Edgar's turn again. Let's do one more round. Edgar's climbing up to the next row, which are all the 20s. 5 and 5 and 1. Edgar has such good rolls. 5 times 5 is 25, times 1 is 25. Or it could be 5 times 5 is 25, minus 1 makes 24. Edgar's going to choose that one, and he might choose it because these other three numbers might be really challenging for Margarita to make, so he makes that choice. It's Margarita's turn, and she rolls a 3, a 4, and a 2. Look at those numbers. Can she make 20, 25, or 28 with these numbers? Margarita's rolled well as well. 4 is a good number to have, especially when there's a 3 and a 2. 3 and 2 make 5. 5 times 4 make 20. And she makes it up to the next tier. Another round? Okay, Edgar's turn. Edgar rolls a 2, a 2, and a 4. And Edgar's trying to make 30, 
35 or 36. Edgar likes the 4, and these two are just a little too small, so Edgar rolls these again. Oh, a 4, a 4, and a 4. Let's think about this for a moment. Edgar looks and says, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 4 makes 20, times 4 is too much. Edgar's looking at the possibilities of 30, 35, and 36, and Edgar sees no possibility. So Edgar has to stay on the level of the pyramid where he is right now. It's Margarita's turn. Maybe she'll make the next tier. Margarita rolls a 1, a 4, and a 5. She looks and sees that she can make 5 times 5 is 25, but there's not much more there. She does like the 5 because there's 5 and 30 and 35, so she decides to roll the other dice again. Margarita's had a good roll. Look at this. 1 and 5 makes 6. 6 times 5 makes 30. Margarita goes to the next level of the pyramid. So this is the game of Pyramid. And for this game, you'll need some paper. You'll need something to write with, some dice, some friends to play with, and, um, oh, you'll need a bear probably too.